Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We read in the Heidelberg Catechism, the 124th question, what does the third petition of the Lord's Prayer mean? Answer, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Means, help us and all people to reject our own wills and to obey your will with any backtalk. Your will alone is good. Help us, one and all, to carry out the work <clears throat> we are called to as willingly and faithfully as the angels in heaven. And then we read in the Gospel of Matthew, verse 6, beginning in verse 9. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I think our Bible translators have put the comma in the wrong place. In Matthew 6, verse 10, the comma is after your will be done. And I think the comma should be moved to after on earth, as in the following. Verse 10, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. By moving the comma, the central request of the prayer becomes us doing God's will here on earth. We are praying for God to do his will through us. This is opposite of most of our prayers. Usually we ask God to do something for us. We want God to intervene in our lives in some way. For example, God, give me good health or bless my children. And these are certainly good things to pray for. But Jesus teaches us that we must also pray for something else. Jesus wants us to pray not for us to do something, wants us to pray for us to do something for God. Jesus wants us to pray that what we do here on earth will bring about a kingdom that replicates in every detail the glorious kingdom of heaven. When we pray this prayer, we are asking God to make the desire to advance the kingdom of heaven the most important thing in our lives. I know that this is tough to do. I can't say that advancing the kingdom of God is the most important thing in my life right now. But if I pray this prayer every day and think about what it says, then as the days pass, I will develop a strong desire to advance God's kingdom here on earth. So I urge you to find out what God wants you to do in regular worship and prayer and Bible study. And then do God's will in this world in order to bring about the kingdom on earth. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, bless us with wisdom so that we know your will for our lives. Give us the gifts we need to accomplish your will. And guide us as we live our lives by your word and spirit. Help us, Lord, to desire above everything else, the advancement of your kingdom here on earth. All this we pray in the name of the one who came to earth to establish the kingdom, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.